friends welcome back to another video this week we are going to be doing a what we eat in a week you'll get to see our meals and see how nourishing delicious and simple we keep it say hi oh my gosh he hasn't had the best day <laughs> clearly <laughs> but we'll move on hopefully after his plant-powered lunch he'll be in a better mood <laughs> but let me show you what i made today so for our lunch i made a recipe from the plant you cookbook it has a lot of just oil free delicious easy simple plant-based recipes and so this was the minestrone soup our lunch first meal of the week we just got back from work it's dinner time and i decided that i'm going to try to make some potato tacos uh, with some tzatziki sauce is that what it's called um i think it was about a couple weeks ago not sure how you pronounce that but we picked up this sauce from Trader Joe's and it looks really delicious so I thought of making some potato tacos with some of this and some vegetables on top first time making them so I hope they come out really delicious but I'm not sure how they'll turn out but we shall see so I'm gonna start with peeling my potatoes I am going to be using about five large russet potatoes I'm gonna dump them in some boiling hot water and then put them in the air fryer along with some spices and then we'll put it all together so let me show you how I'm gonna do these tacos Here's a taco with all of the fixings. We got the vegan tzatziki sauce. We have the cucumbers, carrots, some lettuce, some lemon. And here's our dinner. A nice little potato taco. Alright guys, I want to jump on here and say that these tacos are amazing. Um, yeah, my wife killed it. I don't want to say I'm surprised because it's her. <laughs> but look at them. Oh, it's so good. I feel like I'm in the middle of the Mediterranean Sea. Oh man, this is so good. <laughs> it's Tuesday, day number two on what we eat in a week. We have a very delicious, simple meal that we all include at least once during our week. And I'm sure you guys have seen it before. We have our veggie, tofu, and rice bowl. We keep it simple. We have some white rice, some tofu that I made in the air fryer, and then some just frozen veggies that I sauteed with some pepper and some ginger. And that is it for our lunch. This one is really good. We put uh, sriracha and then top it off with some soy sauce and it's really delicious so definitely one of our favorites hello it's Wednesday here we have this guy how's it feel to change the recipe <laughs> so I made another large pot of the minestrone soup but this time instead of using the white beans that I used last time I used black beans and this one is hating on it but if you're out of white beans mm, go to the store no <laughs> we have beans at home anyways that's what we're having i'll show you but it's basically the same thing as monday's lunch which it was really good it was really good the only difference is black beans here's our yummy soup hey guys it's dinner time and we got home from work we're about to head out to sing happy birthday to my mother-in-law you guys know her if you've seen any of my previous videos you've probably seen her around but i prepped dinner for us yesterday and it's another recipe from the plant you cookbook again it will be linked down below and i just sprinkled some feta cheese on top and got some sourdough bread from whole foods and sprinkled some garlic powder this is honestly one of the best pastas i think i've had and the thing that's amazing is that it has mushrooms and you oh, wouldn't what? even be able to tell 
and it has a lot it has so many vegetables in here jam-packed in here that i i am surprised like at how good and flavorful mm. this is check out the cookbook i don't know exactly if i'm allowed to share the recipe i would assume not because you know it's a copyrighted book so this is our dinner this is really delicious healthy and yummy oh i am a bit stressed out i'm a i'm very flustered yeah, stuff with tell. work just very flustered but i i'm very hungry too i have been very hungry and with the flusteredness oh, it makes me extra hungry but i'm really excited for lunch today it's thursday <laughs> it's thursday and i'm eating the same thing that we had yesterday for dinner the pasta the spaghetti here's what that looks like um in case it didn't show up well on camera yesterday but this is actually really good so i have it with some sourdough and i'm just gonna sprinkle some regular garlic powder on the bread so for dinner my mother-in-law took us to urban cafe it's one of our favorite spots i got a uh, tofu bami sandwich with a side salad and balsamic vinaigrette and she got a power veggie bowl which is basically what it sounds like a veggie bowl with some feta cheese on top Hey guys, I hope you are doing well. It is now Friday. Now, I didn't get to show you my lunch. We ended up not being able to eat in our car because it was just really, really, really hot. So we ended up having lunch in the cafeteria and so I couldn't show you kind of the video of what I ate. But basically, we both had um, the soup, the Mindstrone soup from the Plant You Cookbook, which was really delicious. And right now I am going to warm up a bowl of pasta, and this is the pesto pasta from the Plant You Cookbook as well. Portion sizes in that cookbook are really big, so I actually did not make as many of the meals that I planned to make. It was pretty repetitive because the portions were so big, which we really appreciate because that means I can make a larger batch eat that throughout the week and I don't have to worry about cooking which was really nice eating my pesto pasta for dinner I hope that you enjoyed this week of meals most of them were pretty identical which is pretty much what I try to do I try to batch prep so that we don't have to be in the kitchen all that often I find that that really helps me and my husband stay on track from eating just junk or being tempted to go out to eat as often sometimes we keep it simple and have very similar meals throughout the week and other times we do um, add more variety but this week i gotta say we added a ton of vegetables and it was awesome into our pastas yeah it was just really neat honestly that plant you cookbook is awesome if you have been looking for a cookbook I gotta say, Plant You, I highly, highly recommend. I have yet to find another cookbook that is that great. Like, honestly, the way that it just it has everything laid out, the ingredients, uh, the simplicity of it all, and of course, it's all oil-free, which is even healthier for you um, than all those recipes that contain oil and butter and all those other things. So I love this cookbook. Highly recommend you to order it. I believe on Amazon right now, it is just about $20. So pick it up because I feel like a lot of the meals that I'm going to be having from here on now are going to be directly from that cookbook. It got me out of my comfort zone. It gave me new flavors to try. I now know that I like mushrooms if they're well hidden. That pasta with those mushrooms was so good. It was delicious. Victor loved it. I loved it. I gave some to my mother-in-law and she loved it too. And that pasta made her want to buy the cookbook. This week I did not get the opportunity to share with you all the detailed uh, instructions on how I made these meals. I just basically showed you and that is because just hey copyrighted reasons these recipes are not mine. They're in a cookbook. They belong to someone else. So honestly though that is a cookbook worth getting get it for your loved one i mean i hope you enjoy because then you and me can make these together and when i post something you know exactly you can run to the cookbook and see if you can make it yourself go get yourself that cookbook and i will see you in the next one and hopefully by then you have that cookbook too thank you so much for watching and if you haven't already please subscribe and like this video if you'd like to see more videos like this i will see you guys in the next one bye